Today I'm going to discuss drawing out this idler plate using sketch features and some pads and such. Now you can see here that I have uh, several positioning, what I like to call positioning features or almost datums to a certain extent. I have this cutout, this cutout, this cutout, and this cutout. Now I also have this profile. The way I look at this is I look at these cutouts as driving the actual profile shape. So I'm going to create a couple of sketches and these sketches are going to capture the intent of A, the cutout, B, the profile shape itself. So here I'm going to start out with drawing a sketch that contains these four cutouts first. So I'll go in, go into my sketch feature, out over here and I'll use my position sketch on plane select OK. Now if I take a close look at how this is detailed out we can see that this center point is basically my datum so I'm going to position everything based off of this center point. So this is a diameter of 1.125 hole in the center so I'll just start out with that. Next is going to be, I have a slot, another hole, and a, uh, I, guess, I guess a profile or a cylindrical slot. So I'll go ahead and draw in this next hole, draw in the slot, and constrain those. So this next hole is going to go over here. And as far as the slot goes, there is a tool right here, the elongated hole, and sketcher that allows me to draw that point to point and out. Now before I draw the next slot in, I'm going to go ahead and constrain all these things because it's just much easier to constrain things as you go along. So this hole is 0.75, it's 0.75 over and 1875 over or up. So I'll go here. Here. that constrains that holding and then my slot is got a radius of 437 and it is one inch from center point to center point so for this I'll come in create it at one this is the radius value and what you'll notice is in this dimensioning, this dimensioning scheme, I have this 5.804 to this point, which is 2.312. So for that, I'll just do a little bit of math from here to here. So 5.804 minus 2.312. I am being an idiot today. Three. To get my final value. Now that I have those in, I'm going to go ahead and draw in my elongated or cylindrically elongated hole. And the way this works is it's asking me to define the center axis. So I'll pick my center point. I'm going to come up. Here's my start point, here's my end point, and there is my diameter. Now to finally constrain this, you'll see that this goes up to 40 degrees, and I have a 438 radius on this over here. Okay, so, we'll go point 438. We know that this is on the center line. And I need a construction element from this point to this point to get that 40 degrees. We convert that to a construction measure. 
And there I have my initial fully constrained sketch. I'm going to exit out. Now that I have my positions, as I like to call them, I'm going to go in to draw this uh, next outside profile. Now, as we can see, um, we have this basic shape that wraps around this entire outside profile. So we have a line and an arc, arc, arc. And as we come along, we can see that this is all going to be concentric to one another. We have a circle that's concentric, and we have this profile that's concentric as well, as well as this. So I'm going to go slow to create the next sketch, and I'm going to be putting in all of my concentricities. So we'll go in. There's my sketch one. Make my next sketch. Select the same plane. And again, I'm going to start off with the easiest things. First is my center. And that's going to be radius of 1.375. So I'll go ahead and put that in. Change it to radius 1.375. That's fully constrained. And then the next thing I'm going to do is the same basic thing with my cylindrical elongated hole. So here's my center point. I'm going to come up and go from here to here to here. And again, I'm just eyeballing it at this point. So now that I have that eyeballed in, I can go ahead and constrain. I know that this and this are concentric. I know this and this are concentric as well. When I take a look at my drawing, you'll notice that it gives me a 2875 as a radius. So I'll just have to double, double click on this. So 287 or 2 times 875. This goes up, this automatically goes up as well. Now that I have that in, I have the ability to create a corner between this arc and this circle. And that allows me to simply put in that radius value that is 0.625. You can see times 2. And then I have the same sort of condition up here eventually when I draw this in and draw this in. So as things go, I'm going to go ahead and put in my slot. This, this go over here. Point to point. And once again, I'm going to make these concentric. This is going to be a radius of uh, 750,000. And uh, with that 750, after I draw that in, I'm, I'm able to put in this next line. And I can put in this next circle, which is a diameter of uh, 1.625. In. Oops. Delete that. Three seven five. Oh, six two five. I don't know where I got three seven five from. Now that I have that in there, I have my external outside profiles all set. I can draw in my next line. And by tangent line, this is going to go from here to here. So that's automatically constrained. Now the next is going to be an arc. And you'll notice that this arc goes from this line over to this top circle. So once again, I'll just trim these things together with a corner put in my value, and my value for that is 1.75. And next I need to put in another corner. This is to finish this portion off. And this is just going to simply be equal to this one. Okay, now that I have that in, 
I'm just going to simply trim off the rest of the curves that I no longer need. And for that, I will use what's called quick trim. So I can trim this away, I can trim this out. And make sure I get this. Exit out. And I'll just put in a pad. Say mirror extent. And I'll just say 50,000 for the web. So it'll be a total of a hundred thousand thickness. Now, as I look at my drawing, you'll notice that I have a boss around here and I have a boss around here and another boss around here. This does not have that boss. So I'm going to go ahead and add this material in now. And this should be relatively straightforward. Let me just hide show the sketch. I'm going to create another sketch, put it in here, and I'm going to draw in a circle. Here, draw another circle here. Draw on another and then this is the easiest of all the sketches. So for this, I'm gonna pick this, pick this, right mouse click and say coincidence. And this and this, I'm gonna right mouse click and say concentricity and put in my diameter value, which is 1.75. And then last but not least, this to this, say coincidence, let me delete this value. And then take this to here, right mouse click and say concentricity. Now, with that being done, I'm missing, as you can see, just one more constraint, and that's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to grab this, right mouse click, and say horizontal. So now my sketch is fully constrained. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to create another pad with that sketch. This time I'm going to make it 0.1 with the mirrored extent. Select OK. So there are my bosses. I can hide this sketch. And last but not least, making my pockets. I'm going to take this sketch. I'm going to say up to last in both directions. So it'll cut through. And there is my completed idler plate.